All right, you guys seem to absolutely love the ultimate souvenir loadout, but it was quite pricey and there were lots of requests to see what we could do for a more reasonable budget. And that's exactly what we're doing today. I, I'm not going to include knife and glove combo in the price, but I will show some options at the end of the video. And it's worth mentioning with all the chaos for agent prices at the minute and people just massively inflating them, I'm not going to include them in this video just because they're so volatile, the price are changing so much, and I wouldn't recommend buying them right now. But for my USP, I'm going to go for the purple DD pack. You can pick this up for $6 in minimal wear and it will look pretty damn clean. For the P2000 and George out there, it is going to be a Panther camo, minimal wear, 6 cent. You guys know I absolutely love this skin. Now, for the Glock, I surprised myself a little bit, and I went for a high beam. Now, this is factory new souvenir, and high beam does look better on CS2, and overall, this ends up looking pretty good for the money you're paying, especially with those golds, they really stand out. For the Desert Eagle, I decided to go for the Urban DD Pat. It's $2.50 in minimal wear, and obviously, you may see, I'm using a mix of different gen codes here for the souvenirs. Obviously, the event you go for, the and all that goodness can change how the stickers look. Just keep that in mind. Now, the AK honestly had a lack of options at a reasonable price. I ended up going for the Steel Delta because overall, I do think this skin can look pretty good, especially in those more budget loadouts. But you'll see with this and the op, because there's only been a limited amount of events with this map in the pool, it's actually cheaper to buy the normal versions rather than the souvenirs. But I had to stick to the theme. Now, I know the big preference is like a Battle Scarred mud spec, but I think price wise, $1.20 for the Fuel Test one is pretty damn good and yeah this is just a very very nice value for money skin now another one that's cheaper to buy the normal version but the souvenir you can get some cool stickers like this one is the urban dd pat minimal wear is like 13 dollars 30 it's significantly cheaper for normal souvenir but if you do want souvenir and you want to hunt for some cool old gold stickers you can do exactly that and it will look like this now, the op that I referenced was actually the Black Nile. Now, in Battle Scar, the souvenir version is about $8.40, and it's much less than that uh, in the normal version. So, you know, take it as you want. On the MP9, I actually went for the old route. Surprisingly, I do think this skin looks good for the money you're paying if it's souvenir with the golds. I think 12 cent for this is pretty solid. Now, a MAC-10 that I don't think I have ever suggested it is going to be the Strats. Now, this is only 4 cent in the minimal wear souvenir um it's not a stellar skin by any means but it is this nice mix of like blue black and like almost like a whitey gray so if you want something a bit different i'd maybe try and get better stickers on it the fanatic one i like, really you want a big standout gold sticker there now my p250 is gonna be the black and tan it is only 12 cent and all i'm gonna say for this one is if you know you know we're in the home of the enemy now, if you are wondering, all these prices are accurate as of the 28th of September. So if you're watching it down the line, please allow for some fluctuation. And speaking of prices, $1.50 well, is what was going to run you for these Briar Jewel Berettas. But as you can see, you can get them with some old stickers. For example, here we have the Cologne 2015. We've got the Dorito chip stickers. But you could try and go for something uh, off uh, an like, event that you actually like with those stickers. Then on the 5.7, the Withered Vine is actually one that I think looks quite good for the money you pay. This is only 17 cent in minimal wear. And uh, I think the gold stickers add a lot to the skin. It's purple. Um, I mean, there's definitely a purple base there. So overall, I think the price you pay, some nice gold stickers on top. This is worth looking at. Now, a souvenir called Fusion will run you about a dollar forty for the Get Ill. Um, this is, again, this is, well, I say much cheaper. Considerably on the scale, it's cheaper for the non-souvenir version. But when it comes to souvenir gills, I thought for like a budget-friendly one, it kind of had to be this choice. Over on the farmer side of things, I do think the dark water is the correct pick here. It's like a dollar sixty-three for minimal wear. Obviously, it's a skin that does wear considerably, but I think if you're using it in game, right, you're talking like a, just over a dollar and a half for this. The dark water pattern, some people love it, some people hate it. It kind of is what it is, but the cold stands out on it. And overall, I think it's good for the price you're paying. Now, this one, we can have many comments about the artwork. Uh, I particularly actually quite like this skin, but I don't know there's lots of jokes to be made. But the good news is it only runs you 65 cent for the minimal wear souvenir, and it is the copper coated. Now, one that honestly I'm surprised to see that you can get some nice old stickers on it and it doesn't break the bank is the Vari Camo Blue. The non-souvenir one for this, if I remember correctly, is actually quite pricey, but the souvenir one is nice and cheap. And if you need a blue skin for a blue loadout, this looks great. If you're blue and blue and gold, then obviously keep this in mind because it could be a really good option. Over in the ZZ, I went for the super easy but beautiful option of the ZZ Midnight Palm. This is two cent minimal wear i actually really like the midnight palm it looks like something that would be from the um is this not the St. lucia collection 
I knew it started with saying the St. Mark collection that the Wild Lotus is in. I can see this being like a, a, a low tier skin within that. And I like how the gold looks on it for the price you're paying. Now, one that I actually picked up myself recently, which I can even show you guys. I picked it up yesterday. It's this Tech 9 Souvenir Blast from the past. I recommend you get it in minimal wear. It'll cost you about 50 for sin uh you can get it with real stickers what i would say is if you can get it with the ancient sticker at the back for example the event sticker looks kind of weird and stretched here if you get the event sticker on the back it looks like this on, on the ancient event sticker pairs really nicely into the shape of the Titan. nine i mean kind of cheap and cheerful for the mp7 because i appreciate not a lot of people will use it it's two sin it's minimal wear for the sun back here it actually gets quite a nice lighting effect and then the gold stands out so you know what it's a little bit different but for literally Two cent, like I cannot get any cheaper. Oh, maybe free, but now I'm gonna have to shout out Go to Shang for this one uh, in the Discord. He was telling me about which UMP I should consider picking up for my Omegas. I'm not gonna buy it, but it then gave me the idea for this loadout. I think the mechanism is a no-brainer. Eleven cent here. It's got gold accents. It's got gold stickers. You know that is just how it's gonna be. Uh, the AUG really lacked good options for me, um, so I ended up going for the Snake Pit. It's seven cent. It's minimal wear. Hopefully, we get a better Souvenir AUG in the future. Now, the SG could have gone off with the one from the Mirage Collection. It's got the pink on it. I think it's called Desert Blossom. But I went for Lost Ruins here. It's three cent minimal wear. Again, I think better team stickers would be good. I think the Fanatic Gold just really is super, super lackluster for Paris. So try and find something with a better team sticker combo. But overall, there's loads of them for the base price. My scout of choice is the Azure Glyph. Um, 35 cent minimal wear. Uh, obviously, this I like scope design on my scout. This doesn't get it, but overall, for the price you're paying, I do like this artwork, and obviously, it's not going to break the bank for us. For the MP5, I felt very forced into Lab Rats. It obviously has a black sight foil on it. It's 7 cent. It's a bit of a weird skin. Each of their own. And then finally, the P90 of choice is going to be the Redank Growth for 2 cent in minimal wear now if you're wondering the total cost of this loadout is 46 dollars and 35 cents so we're under the 50 dollar mark we are full souvenir and what that means is you can actually try to get skins that mean something to you whether it's a team you support one of your favorite majors maybe it was the first major you attended if these skins fall into that category, like it yeah, drops out that major, you can do so, which I personally think is really cool. Uh, it's something I want to do a bit more of in the future. Like I want to try and pick up some stuff from Paris because that was the first big CS event I attended. It was my first major. Stuff like that just kind of makes sense, but it's picking the right items. Now, I did say I have some knife and glove combos for you, and I'll show them now. And I have three combos. We'll start with the budget combo. It's broken fan gloves unhinged in field test for $90 with a $140 Huntsman Black Laminate, which means total cost is $230. Just over $200 for the budget combo. This is pretty sweet. The gloves are that black and silver, so overall they're pretty neutral. And Black Laminate Huntsman is lush. Now, my go-to value for money combo, I put it in as the mid combo, the value combo here. It's sport gloves, big game in field test at $220. $460 on the knife. It's a little tiger tooth. It looks fantastic. It is S2 knife, potentially the number one knife in the game. Overall, this combo would run you $680, so a bit more pricey. And then overall, you know, if you want to go for a baller style of combo, I've called it the money combo. $1,770, almost $1,800 here. You can get some knocks of field test with a bayonet doppler. D is three. It is a black and blue, but you know what? I wanted to give you guys something a little bit different. I, this isn't going to be everyone's cup of tea, but that is going to be me for today's video. I had a, quite a few people request a more budget friendly souvenir loadout so that you weren't spending six grand. And overall, I think under $50 for the weapon skins. And then if you want a knife and glove combo, you can do whatever you want. That is pretty sick. But I'm going to leave it there. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you didn't, please make sure you hit that like button. Leave a comment down below if your favorite skin from today's video or if you think I missed anything out. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Thank you very much for watching. Good. Bye.